So what I've seen some people do when they want, for example, to cut a door into a house is they would loop through the whole mesh like this. And then on the back side, you have all these loops to deal with now. And so if you wanted to add a window right here or where the loop is coming through, you'd have to either add more loops and have a loop coming straight through your window, or maybe move some loops, or deal with it in some other way. It gets messy really fast and we only edit one door and one window. And of course, this is just an example. If it was an actual model of a house, your roof uh, would probably be in a different mesh. But look, even if we had just one face and wanted to do some extrusions on it, we're still facing the same problem. We have to deal with this grid-like pattern with this approach. What you can do instead is just boolean those in and get n-gons. Let's add a door, a window, and a bigger window. We can clean it up a little bit if we want. N-gons are fine as long as all of the vertices are planar, as long as the mesh is not deforming, and as long as you're not subdividing. Bevel modifier is perfectly fine with N-gons. Be sure to check hardened normals and uncheck loop slide. You get a nice clean mesh. You can boolean it however you want. And for export, you can put on triangulate modifier to get a predictable triangulation. Be sure to check keep normals on it. Another thing worth uh, mentioning is you don't necessarily have to connect your geometry together. If you want to add some detail, just make sure to remove faces that are not visible. Since you're not cutting your geometry, you get less faces, which is preferable for game assets. Just make sure not to do it with big elements, since you're wasting texture space under it like this. If you want to subdivide your mesh, make sure that your n-gon is nicely isolated from anything curvy in your mesh. And also keep in mind that you can boolean from subdivided mesh too. Notice that I copied the mesh before applying boolean. We're gonna need it later to fix normals. And we added some bevel. And as you could expect, we got some shading issues because there are n-gons that are not planar. To fix normals around the bevel, you can add them to a new group with Control G. Add data transfer modifier, select our copied object, uncheck object transform, check face corner data, custom normals, set mapping to nearest face interpolated, select the group that we made, and you get perfect shading on a curved surface with boolean. So the whole point of this quick tip video is that some beginners hear that n-gons are evil, which is quite a popular meme to be honest, and so they decide to avoid them all the time without figuring out in what particular cases n-gons can cause problems, and sometimes it leads to suboptimal workflow. I personally love n-gons, I think they're a great abstraction, and so I hope this video clears some things up.